So you've made your model and everything's looking good and you are ready to show the world. So how do we do this? I've got my model in a position which I think looks good and I've rotated it to where that's the view I want everyone to see. Okay. Or you all do. With complex models, even a fast computer like this does have to catch up. So to the simplest way of doing it is file, export, and you've got a few different options. So 2D graphic is what we're talking about here if we want to show the world. Um, this flat picture. So you just call it whatever you like. And you have JPEG, you have TIF, you have Portable Network Graphics or PNG. PNG is the best. So just leave it as PNG and save it somewhere. So it's bringing it around, exporting, rendering it as you see it. And let's just pull up the, um, where are we, uh, desktop, there we are. So, here we have it. Now, you'll notice that this is obviously the same picture, a bit smaller just to prove it. This is just a PNG, the same angles and everything, but well, what is missing, which is a good thing, are the origin points, the, um, and the axes. We can turn these off here, but that won't get rendered anyway. So these geometry bits don't get shown when you render them. Now, you could use that image there, but I don't think it's that good. I think we can do better. So what we've got are styles. Our styles are just different ways of rendering. This is the default style from SketchUp, but there's a whole load of them which are built in. So Windows, Styles. Now, let's go down to photo modeling. You see, it looks different. Sketchy edges, a whole load of different ones you can choose that look different. Now, sketchy edges, I personally love because it looks like a designer has spent a good amount of time drawing them as he would do in the old days, like pen and pencil. And you can find like uh, white on black, you can find um, style build competition is fantastic because they run a competition and the winners go through. So look at this, it looks absolutely fantastic as a way of rendering. I'm going to go for mm, that one, looks pretty impressive, but it depends what kind of magazine you're working for. I'm going to go for this. For the project I'm working on, this is going to be good. And if I just pan around, I've now got the shadow in. And that is a really nice thing. So um, I can now export this. So file, export, 2D graphic, and it's number two, export. And again, it's a PNG, just as before. So that's exporting with the beach ball of death or whatever they call it um, in the Mac world. I'm actually quite new to Macs, so it's slowly working on it. Okay, so we've now got that made. I'm going to pull up the image, and there we are. That looks beautiful. But there's one thing you might notice, and that is we've got shadow on there. We might not want shadow. So, view, shadows. We can take the shadows off. We end up with just these edges. Now, this style in particular looks very different without shadows, whereas before, if I pull it up, you have all these shadows and lines, the real detail there. But without the shadow, it looks very, very different. Um, we can add fog, which I personally never touch. And I always leave shadows on. Um, another thing we do is we can see depth cues. You know, that's kind of, all these things here, we can play around with and they just change how we see it. The best thing to do is just spend time going through and you know, see what all of these different things mean. So you can customize your edge styles, you can customize um, the way it looks, you can customize styles. I don't like that one particularly, let's turn that one off. Um, shaded look great, I quite like the look of this. 
and I like it with shadows. So I'm going to turn shadows on. Um, yeah, I think it's better without the. I think in wireframe it was better. No, hidden detail, sorry. Anyway, there's a whole load of things you can do, or just choose whichever one you like. But I'm going to go with this as my final one. So that's what I want to do, show the world and show how great my story is. So save as. Sorry, <laughs> we carried away there. File, um, export. Okay, okay, away. Um, export to a 2D model and desktop. I'm going to call this final. And it's your experience academia. Final is a great word because it never actually means final, it means what you think you want to get done. What you end up handing in is usually final version 2, final of final, final edits, no more final, whatever. So, anyway, I'll tell you this whilst it's exporting. Now, what do you do with these images when you're finished? There are a whole load of different things. I'm going to open up InDesign. Everyone loves InDesign. You go File, Place, and here we have Final. Open, and I can drop it there. And uh, using my amazing InDesign skills, it's simply just too, too big. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to use some fit in this area. There we have it. So I put my shop into InDesign. I can save that. And obviously this is just a very um, let's have a look. View uh, fit page in window. So this is just a really basic InDesign magazine page. You can do far better than this, but it does give you an idea how you can take an image in SketchUp, um, render it into different styles, find the one you like, in the way you like, with shadows, without shadows, with textures, without textures, whatever you like, export it as 2D JPNG, drop it into publishing software such as InDesign, and now this is ready to go.